Okay, so today we're going to look at how to start a new project in Logic Pro X. Um, in the template here, we have a lot of uh, different options. Probably the easiest and best is just to start with an empty project, unless you've got uh, you know one of these types of specific projects in mind. So we'll choose empty project, click on choose. And now we've got this window here that lets us kind of decide how we're going to go. Um, again, probably the easiest is just to use audio, which is by default. Uh, a couple of things we want to look at. Uh, you want to make sure that the input device is correct. Right? So we're using the, the Scarlett 18 and 20 out uh, by USB. Uh, and then here on the input is where you're going to select uh, which one of our inputs we're going to use. So generally the mics we've got set up here are set up for input one and two for sure. So we're going to go with input one. So that'll be our first mic. Uh, and output here, we want to make sure that, again, we're throwing the sound back out to the Scarlett interface so that we can use our, our headphone amp and uh, our monitor as well. Uh, if for some reason it's not, either of these is not, you can just click on the little arrow. It'll bring up this window and here for output device or input device, we can change those to, to suit our needs. Uh, and then when we close, we can save that. Again, the number of tracks we start with depends if you already know how many tracks you want to start with. Awesome. Otherwise, just start with one and it's easy enough to add more tracks as we go. So we're going to create that. So now you can see here our first audio track. Uh, couple of things we can quickly rename it so double click on it and uh, let's label it microphone one again as we create more complex projects we're going to want to make sure that we label our tracks appropriately so now if we are ready to record we can see here our levels are pretty good um, you're going to want to make sure that this track is record enabled so you're going to click on this you'll see it's flashing red now we can click on our record button. It'll count us in and now we can record. And as it's recording, you can see here, we've got some sound waves, spacebar or the stop button will stop the record. Now we can go back, listen to it. All right, so that's there. Uh, couple little things here we can look at the edit window again so we can see here um, you can see the sound waves if we want to edit, edit those uh, we've got our mixing board here so again if we want to add uh, any effects or, or anything like that that's where we can access that but again we'll look at that later on 